in giving away the control, you got it. You got the kind of control you wanted. That's to say, where you had a loving relationship to the world, but you didn't have to make up your mind what it should do. You let it decide. Now do you see that's how your bodies work? You don't have to make up your mind what your nerve cells are going to do. You've delegated all that authority. If the President of the United States has to lay awake at nights thinking what every official under his command is going to do, he can't be President. He's got to make an act of trust in all those subordinates to be responsible and carry on their things in just the same way as you make an act of trust to all your subordinate organs to carry on their functions without you having to tell them what to do. And this is the secret of what we will call organic power as distinct from political power. Lao Tzu puts it in this way, the great Tao flows everywhere, both to the left and to the right. Loves and nourishes all things, but does not lord it over them. And when merits are accomplished, it lays no claim to them. The more, therefore, you relinquish power, trust others, the more powerful you become. But in such a way that instead of having to lie awake nights, controlling him. You do it beautifully by trusting the job to everyone else. They carry it on for you. So you can go to sleep at night, trust your nervous system to wake you up in the morning. You can even tell it, I want to wake up at six o'clock. It will wake you up just like an alarm clock. This seems a sort of paradox to say this, but the principle of unity of coming to a sense of, of oneness with the whole of the rest of the universe is not to try to be, obtain power over the rest of the universe. That will only disturb it and uh, antagonize it and make it seem less one with you than ever. The way to become one with the universe is to trust it as another, as you would another, and say, Let's see what you're going to do.